Hello everybody, what's better than one bag of cheap guitar accessories from Timu? Two bags of Timu cheap guitar accessories. Hey, it's Martin Blasic, and this is the Timu cheap guitar accessories haul. And how cheap? I'm talking super cheap. There's two sides to this story. One is the bag I already opened, and the other is the bag I didn't already open. So, we're gonna wait on this one. Let's get to bag number one. I already looked in here, I saw what's in here. Gotta start with the story. I was suckered into all these ads for a U87, like a Neumann U87 for like three bucks. You can see it right here. There's a review coming. See that right there? That's my real Neumann U87. We're gonna check those out. But to do it, I had to get some other stuff. And it is kind of addicting to see all these things for like sometimes under a dollar, two bucks, sometimes a couple bucks more. And let's see what we got. Item number one is Oh my God, what is this tiny thing? This little bitty itty thing is a guitar strap. And you're thinking, how itty bitty can a guitar strap be? This itty bitty. <laughs> now you think that's not gonna possibly do it, but I already uh, opened one of them up and I extended it to its full length. Oh look, it even comes with a little thread here to, uh, tie it on an acoustic guitar. It cost $1.48. I already put one of them on the Asmuse guitar, fully extended here. It's not gonna be a Johnny Depp kind of deal, but you know, like that. Now you can feel that this isn't gonna last forever. It says real leather here. I don't think it is, but it is a strap. And if you're short a strap and you want one for that kind of price, it'll do it. And I think, here, <laughs> it's, when I first got it, I thought this will never do. Doesn't go wider than the frame. <laughs> Item number two, here's the bag. What do we got? This is two things. Let's get them one at a time. Oh yes, I already saw this. I already love it. This is a guitar player necklace. Ta-da! What do you think? And how much do you think this beauty cost? $1.27. Is it an actual guitar accessory? Well, in a way, if you want to wear something. So I know it's not something you use on your guitar, but I wore it two nights ago when I went to a charity concert and all these great bands played, including Ringo Starr. I saw a Beatle and I presented Ringo from the audience. Next up. Okay. What in the heck is this thing? It's a file of some sort. And I got the idea for this because I've got this Asmuse guitar and I'm not much of a guitar tech, but I want to learn enough that I can adjust the frets a little bit. And so this is supposed to be like sanding and look at that rougher, finer. Now this one's an expensive one. This is probably about the priciest thing I got on here. $4 and 71 cents. I won't even throw it. I'll put it down gently. Oh, Timu fun. What have we now? For the magic price of $1.98, these are strap locks. Are they any good? They're kind of like a rubbery thump. You get four of these things. They're a little, they're a little soft. I wouldn't do the guitar around whew, thing with it. Not amazing, but not the worst. Now this is a true guitar accessory for uh, making your frets clean. And I never even saw such a thing until I started watching videos on how to care for guitars. And, and I'm like, I would just like get steel wool and do it that way and get everything. This is a little metal thingy. And what you do is when you take the strings off, there we have it, it's two thingies. They have a little slot in there. You put it over the string, you protect the wood of the frets but you can sand the fret itself. It's pretty cool. I never had such a thing. And it includes a little sanding block, different gauges. I don't even see that one on the price. So it's priceless. I think it was like two bucks. Now I've noticed the price has changed like all the time. So you might see it for like $2.60 somewhere and like $2.10 somewhere else. So, you know, have your fun on there. I've had a blast. Next, a file kit. This is like get the nut just like you like it. $3.41, all these different sizes. And that's pretty rough there. Now, someone told me that the rough stuff on here is just glued on and it'll come off. 
But you know what? It'll work for a little while for $3.41. And without going ahead and spending, you know, proper money for the proper tools, I figure I can learn a few things. 10 piece guitar repair tool set. That's what that was. Ah, guitar string action PVC gauge for $1.75. This is like a credit card plastic thingy. And it has all kinds of like gauges on there. And I learned a couple things on there too. So it's not like metal, it's not gonna last forever. I already started on here, cause it says, you know, like normal, a six string should be at this level. And it's got like the little yellow marks on there. And I could use, I was trying to use it as a fret rocker. I don't know, I think I need metal for that just to make sure. But it's got all kinds of measurements on here. So I, I think it was worth it. Another tool, portable guitar nut slotting file. $1.58. So also for uh, slotting the guitar nut. Now these things are tiny little things and they have little rough stuff on them. These seem a little flimsy, but I bet they'll cut through plastic. Another file here. I guess that's from my nails. I don't know. You know, I'm more of a player. I was never that person who's like, oh man, let me rewire those pickups or let me uh, refret a guitar. So I'm gonna try and learn a couple things. Okay, you see this one sticking out here. I gotta go for it now. Zoop. This is stickers for the fretboard. What I'm gonna do is the Asmus again. You still got dots, they're on there just fine. But you gotta figure out which way it starts. Starts here on the, the widest fret. And you're gonna put that one on there. And then about halfway up, you're gonna switch to this. It's gonna go all the way up. And this guitar has 24 frets and these are 24 stickers. And it's going to look like uh, the Steve Vai Tree of Life on there. Yeah, right. And guess how much it cost? 98 cents. It's going to be fun. Next. Picks. I paid $1.47 for a box of picks. I forgot how many came in here. Oh, 30 pieces of picks. Different gauges. And you know what's weird is I always had been playing with a thumb pick for a long time. And I got the weirdest Jones to start playing with a flat pick again. And I even didn't have that many flat picks, if you could believe that. And, you know, they're just normal picks. Now I know you can go to the guitar store and get a free one here and there. But I wanted to experiment. A buck and a half. Done. We're still on the first bag. Oh, and now is an excellent time to bloop the like button. Ah, another not quite a guitar accessory. In fact, this even doesn't have a guitar on it. But it is a cool bracelet that a rocker might wear and it has my Gemini sign on there. So look, I'm getting my style on here. 98 cents. That's a keeper. We did it. This one's empty. Next bag. We're going to open this one together. I haven't even seen what's in here. I know what I bought, but I haven't seen it. You ready? Let me try not to cut anything in here. Now, before I reach in there and grab the first thing, if you're liking what you're seeing, subscribe. What on earth do I have here? Oh, I have a hot compress towel for my wife. It's for the face. It's not a guitar thing at all. $1.57, can't wait to show her. All this was so I could get a microphone for free. Is this another strap? Oh, but this strap is better. I can feel it immediately. How much better is this strap? $2.98. That's how much better. Let's open it. I need the help of sharp objects. This one also has a string in it if you want to put it on your acoustic. And, and it came with some picks that are taped in there so good we'll never get them out. <laughs> Look what it has. It has places to stick the pick. Now these aren't the ones that came with it because they're in that bag so good. But voila, you can have three picks on your strap like that. $2.98. I think that's a winner. And how long does this one go? It looks like it goes longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can rock out with that one a little bit. Yeah, yeah. We can do a little bit of posing with this guy. And it has a cool little gray and black stripe on there. The leather seems, the pleather seems a little bit better. It might last a little while. That was a thumbs up. Strap. Next. More fretboard stickers. 
I don't even know what guitar I'm gonna put them on. I'll have to find something. These are silver trapezoidal fingerboard stickers, $1.96. Put them on here and it's gonna look like faux mother of pearl, huge inlays on there. I'll find a guitar for this. <laughs> uh, will they last? What if you're playing on them? I, I have a feeling this is a temporary cheap fun. Who doesn't like a cheap thrill? Gently, I'll put it down. Oh, Timu. Not a guitar item per se, but this one is a globe of some sort. Putting it on. Ta-da! What do you think? It's a glass ball, planet, universe, starry, dot, dot, dot. 89 cents. So we're starting to get our style on here. Guitar accessories include having some necklaces and some bracelets. It's filing time. Okay, this seems like a pretty decent file. It feels like it's actually metal. It's a guitar nut, fret file, fret wire, dot, dot, dot. Oh, pricey, pricey, $3.61. Cause I feel that, that's definitely for making some changes. Four. This is silicon tape. And you know how I uh, learned to get this? I learned it, I think, I, I think the bald shredder was talking about this. And you know what it is? I have this Ibanez Artist. I got way, way, way back when I was, uh, I think I just, just got out of high school. I'll get it. And lo and behold, here it is right here. This is an original Ibanez Artist. I bought this when it originally came out. This is in the way back. One of its key features was its tone block. It was a solid piece of brass. And you know what I did with that? Because I was really into Alan Holdsworth and the way he would use the tremolo bar and not the Floyd Rose, but the Kaler, we drilled through, I took it to a machine shop and they drilled out the, the, the thing that makes the guitar special to fit in this Kaler thing here. And, but over the years, you know, it's, it's, it's been around a while. This Kaler is not in there tight. And so what I understand is that a little silicon tape can tighten that up there. So I can't wait to try this. And it was not expensive. It was a dollar 40. Seven. If you haven't liked this video already, I think this seriously deserves a boop on the like button. It's a seven chakra Reiki healing stone bracelet, a dollar forty-eight. Sort of. Dollar forty-eight. Two more things. I don't even know what they are. Next to the final one. Oh my god, it's another stone thingy for a necklace. I was going nuts on the necklaces. What do you think? Now, what I like about it is that all three of these necklaces have like the cloth type of uh, necklace because some of these cheap necklaces, and I've gotten a couple from uh, uh, wish.com, is they'll leave a little yuck around your neck. And the, you know, if you're sweating a little bit, a couple hours in, you have a little dark ring around your neck. So this just has like a kind of like a cloth thingy. So it's not going to like make you look like a fool with a dirty ring around your neck. And this price on this, 98 cents. Drum roll, please. This is our final item from the Timu super cheap guitar accessories haul. And it is, is it more decorations? It is indeed another necklace. Zip. Two bracelets, four necklaces. Am I ready to join Hollywood vampires yet? Not even close in the bracelet and necklace department, but I do have a lot of fun stuff. These stickers are cool. The files are cool. I really appreciate you hanging out with me. You know what? I also want you to keep an eye out because I've got a video coming up for this Timu supposed U87, which was free if you buy some other stuff. I haven't tried it yet. I couldn't wait. I pulled it out. Be sure and watch that one. Until then, subscribe. If you want to help me out, you can go to Bandcamp and uh, buy one of my songs. And this is Martin Blasek, and we're always on the wildest search for Guitar Figutin. And today, thumbs up.